Hi, I'm Juana and I'm gonna present you the status quo because uh, on the seminar my uh, microphone doesn't work. So, the status quo is an acoustic medical device for auscultation or listening to internal sounds of an animal or human body. A stethoscope can be used to listen to, to the sounds made by heart, lungs or intestines, as well as blood, from in, uh, blo uh, blood flow in arteries and uh, veins. In combination with a man uh, manual sphygma manometer, it is commonly used when measuring blood pressure. A stethoscope then, uh, that intens uh, intensifies um, auscultatory sounds is called a fondoscope. Um, in the PowerPoint, I presented you the, the stethoscope and I tried to make a little bit uh, more easy to understand. And um, the stethoscope is typical, has a small disc shaped uh, resonator that is placed against the skin and one or two tubes connected to uh, the two air pieces. The parts of a stethoscope work together to allow the user to hear the internal sounds of a patient's body. Uh, these sounds are transferred from the stethoscope to the medical professional's ears to ena uh, enable proper diagnosis of a patient's condition or illness. Uh, to, briefly to briefly describe how this happens, the head or chest, uh, chest piece uh, of the stethoscope is placed on the patient's body against the chest, stomach or back. Uh, allowing the sounds from these area, uh, areas to get picked up. The sounds move through the stethoscope tubing and into the air tubs, uh, air tubs where the user can hear the patient's heartbeat as well as lung and abdominal sounds. Uh, so the chest piece, uh, stethos means chest. So this is the logical place to start. The chest piece is the part of the instrument that you hold against the body of the patient. Diaphragm, it may be single-sided or double-sided. A two-sided chest piece will typically have a diaphragm on the side and a deep cup-shaped side called the bell. Uh, both uh, single-sided and double-sided pieces will use, uh, usually have a flexible ring called a chill ring, um, which helps to make a uh, seal and buffer the patients against the coldness of the part. The stem is what connects the chest piece to the tubing. Uh, acoustic tubes that acoustic tubes are the hollow rubber like tubes that connect the chest piece to the air tubs ear tubs headset this is typically the metal portion of the stethoscope ear tubs the ear tubs are hollow metal tubes that connect to the acoustic tubes on one end and the ear pieces to the other on the other ear pieces uh, are the small tips of the end uh, of the ear tubs that fit into the into your uh, ears, some stethoscopes may have a choice of hard plastic or soft uh, silicone. Um, I, um, I'm gonna present now the types of uh, stethoscope and um, I, um, I'm gonna present the acoustic stethoscopes that uh, operate uh, on the transmission of sound from the chest piece uh, to the listener's ears. Um, one problem with acoustic stethoscopes was that the sound level was extremely low. Uh, an electronic stethoscope or stethophone uh, overcomes the low sound levels by electronically amplifying, amplifying uh, body sounds. Some electronic stethoscopes feature uh, uh, direct audio uh, that can be used with an external recording device such as a laptop or an MP uh, recorder. A fetal stethoscope or fetoscope is an acoustic stethoscope shaped like a listening trumpet. It is placed against the abdomen of a pregnant woman uh, to listen to the harsh sounds of the fetus. Uh, a Doppler stethoscope is an electronic device that measures the Doppler effect of the <coughs> ultrasound waves reflected from organs within the body. Um, and um, I'm in the PowerPoint. I. I have it in front of me and I um, I write it down uh, some history and um, uh, the stethoscope was in invented in France by René Lanec. Um, it is consists of a, wood, a wooden tube and was monoreal. Uh, Lanec invented the stethoscope because he was not comfortable 
comfortable uh, placing his ear directly onto a woman's chest to listen to her heart. Um, Uh, patients can be examined examined uh, while lying supping, sitting, and leaning forward. Uh, pericardial sounds are sometimes best uh, heard with the patient's uh, hands on knees. Um, uh, murmurs is an abnormal, un uh, unusual heart sounds ha uh, heard uh, during our our heartbeat cycle. Uh, these sounds can be heard with a stethoscope. A sound is made by blood moving through the heart and, is ve uh, and uh, the valves are moving uh, forward. Uh, the, this sound is mainly heard by uh, uh, when our heart uh, valves are not functioning proper. And uh, some words of advice. Uh, do not uh, auscultate through clothing. Uh, try to limit the number of deep breaths with uh, patients takes consecutively. Uh, Ask patient to take slow, deep breath through their mouth, and uh, it may help to have the patients to cough before auscultation. Thank you.